Welcome to ASA Manager's Resource Hub. This video will guide you through the login process, creating a desktop shortcut to SharePoint, uploading documents, deleting documents, adding new document libraries and other apps, adding links to your apps on the left-hand navigation bar. You will see in the description below times and headers for each individual process. Click on the time of the process you would like to view to jump to that spot in the video. Let's get started. Logging in. In the description below this video, you will find a URL web link starting with https forward slash forward slash georgebrowncollege.sharepoint.com. Click on this link to navigate to the SharePoint site. You will now be prompted to put in a username. The username is your employee number at georgebrown.ca. Then put in your password, the same password as your email or computer password. Now that you've logged in, we recommend saving your web page to the desktop for quick and easy access. To create a desktop shortcut to SharePoint, start by copying the URL either in the description below of this video or if you've logged into SharePoint already, by highlighting and copying the URL in your internet browser. Then, on your desktop, right-click your mouse where you would like the link to appear and select New, and click on Shortcut. Paste the URL in the Location field and click Next. Now, create a name for your shortcut, like ASA Manager SharePoint, and click on Finish. Your shortcut is now created. How to upload documents to SharePoint. Once logged in, use either the left-hand navigation or the main launch bar. Click on the document library you wish to add documents to. Now select Upload to add documents from your computer or New to create a new document online. When creating a new document, it will be synced to the document library you have selected as you work online. How to delete a document on SharePoint. Using either the left hand navigation or the main launch bar, find the document you wish to delete within the document library. Right click the document name and in the menu bar that appears directly below, click delete and confirm deletion adding new document libraries and other apps. The most common types of apps that you will likely add are document libraries and lists. Document libraries are ideally suited to read-only collections of documents, while lists are more appropriate for collaborations. Let's get started. From the home page, click on the gear icon on the top right-hand corner and select Add an App. Select the type of app you want to add from the list of apps. Once selected, give the new app a name and click Create. The Site Contents list will then open, where you can select the newly created app from the list to edit. Let us look at adding links to your apps on the left-hand navigation bar. After selecting the app from your content site, copy the URL of your app. Every app page that you create in SharePoint will automatically have its own unique URL. Now click back to the home page by selecting Home ASA Managers. Then click on Edit Links below the left hand navigation. Your newest app should appear under Recent, where you can simply drag and drop them to the position you would like them to appear in the navigation bar. If they do not appear, click on the Add Link button and paste the URL you had copied then drag and drop into position. 